communication. It's talking to a neighbor. It's emailing friends. It's catching up with the news. We all depend on giving and receiving information to share our experiences and feelings, steer our lives and join us to our communities. In the eye of a crisis, whether it's natural or man-made, the communication networks that support every community can shatter along with resources and lives. And when all we rely on is turned upside down, we need information more than ever. It's as crucial as food, water, shelter and medicine. Where can we go for help? What danger should we be aware of? How can we find our missing families and friends? And who will listen to our concerns and give us the advice we need? Insufficient or even conflicting information can cause confusion and worsen the feeling of isolation. And if we don't know and trust the sources, even the most vital messages can miss their mark. Lives can be saved with accurate, timely and well-targeted information. When our voices are heard and we know what to expect, we can start to make our own decisions and get back in control of our lives. And once we can rebuild our familiar communication networks and then reconnect with the wider world, the process of recovery can really accelerate. The right information at the right time through the right channels can save families, livelihoods and lives. It can give people back their futures. Communication is aid.